So that's an excellent question and that's something that uh, Dubai Civil Aviation Authority feels very strongly about because uh, we are the UAE and at the moment uh, there, it does create a, a confusion between what the federal regulator requires which is the GCAA and what the local authority uh, mandates. The local authority feels that over and above what the minimum requirements are for any kind of RPS UAV drone operation within the Emirate of Dubai, we, we need to provide for extra safeguarding and the safeguarding is something that can be that can mitigate any kind of disruption hence the fact that we now have a tracking device that is issued to all commercial operators within the Emirate that that uh, require a, a no objection certificate to carry out commercial operations and to date it, it's working very very well we've been audited and um, I haven't had any any intrusion from any of the allocated commercial operators that we've been working with that have been a result and cause of any kind of airspace disruption you know sa safety um, it, it might sound boring but but the entities and the and and what safety entails as regards aviation changes I mean last year this time would you have asked me the question so Mike what about these uh, the iPads that we're not allowed to take on board flights anymore to the to the US so these are all all um, um, uh, extra dimensions that are added to aviation safety and remember you know the day before the announcement there's no regulation we don't have a, a, a playbook that we open up and say ah oh, okay if we're not allowed to take a we're not allowed to take a, a an iPad on board what what are the what are the requirements we don't have that we need to develop it as we move along and it's the same with with uh, with RPS and UAV technology um, you know as, as I mentioned uh, a year ago two years ago the, the the majority of the applications and inquiries that we're having was about simple videotography of either a, a, a landmark or, or a function or you know something simple today we're dealing with uh, with thermo imagery we're dealing with with terrain mapping um, we're dealing with 3d modeling I mean that's in the last year next year when you ask me the same question I really don't know where we're going to be and we've got to try and stay ahead of it so this kind of forum uh, the the World Aviation Safety uh, Summit is where the people come together and they say well you know this is what I'm doing in my country what about trying it in yours and and uh, you know vice versa